Everyone is familiar with ChatGPT, but in this video, I want to share with you some tips and tricks to enhance your experience. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned user, these tips and tricks will help you get the most out of ChatGPT. So let's start off with setting up an account. So to get started, let's go to chatgpt.com and create an account. It's super simple. If you have an account already, you just click login. So I'm gonna log into my account. So once you've logged into your account, you should see something very similar to this. You can select the model you wish to use in the top left hand side here and any chats that you've had will appear on the left hand side sidebar. You can also hide the sidebar by clicking this button here and you can reopen it by clicking the same button. If you want to change how ChatGPT looks, so say for example instead of the dark theme you want the light theme or if you've, had, if you've got the light theme and you want the dark theme you can click on your icon at the top here, click settings and you can switch the theme from system to dark or light. So sometimes you want to structure your text neatly uh, with new lines. So let's say for example, you had a paragraph like this. You can do that simply by pressing shift and enter and that will create a new line for you. And you can do this multiple times. So you press shift and enter instead of pressing just enter and that actually allows you to create a line break without sending your message. So say for example, we accidentally just hit enter, that will just send the message. But what we can do is we can stop this and we can go back up to our message and click the edit button and we can re-edit our message. And then once you've done that, you can then hit send and that will resend the message back over to ChatGPT. So let's say you made a mistake, for example, you can re-edit this and send it back to ChatGPT. ChatGPT also allows us to upload files for processing. So to upload a file, you can either click on the paper link icon here on the screen, or you can just drag an image into the chat and that will be automatically uploaded. And then you can also add some text to it. So I can ask ChatGPT, what is in this image? And then it explains what's in the image. So this doesn't only work for images, you can upload documents and other types directly into the conversation. And it's great for getting ChatGPT to analyze the data. Another thing you can do with ChatGPT is highlight important information inside your message. So let's say for example, I write a quick message saying, can you spell check this text? What you can do is you can then put these three back ticks, paste in your content, and then put another three back ticks. And that will tell ChatGPT that this is the block of text that you want it to look at. And then after that, you can actually just put other commands as well. So say for example, say make it more cheerful and ChatGPT will take this as a command. This is the text you want it to look at and then this as another command. And you can see it's done that here. So it's spell checked it and it's made a more cheerful version. Another thing you can do with ChatGPT is tell it system messages. So at the beginning of a chat, you can actually turn around to it and say, for example, you can say act as a helpful assistant. And then that is actually a system command and you tell it what it's gonna act like. And by doing this, you're gonna set the tone and provide context for the conversation. And that will start to prime ChatGPT to respond more appropriately to the questions that you're asking. Another thing you can do with ChatGPT is specify the output format you wish the message to look like. So let's say, for example, I asked ChatGPT to give me a list of the top 10 populated countries in the world. That would just now give me a list of them. But you can actually change what it does here and you can ask it to now provide that in a table format rather than just a list format. So say for example we say create a table with the 10 most populated countries in the world. And here we go, we have a nice table here which is downloadable and also we can expand the table to make it full height. So this helps to get responses in your desired format. Another great tip is always provide as much context as possible. The more information you provide to ChatGPT, the better it will understand and the better the content you will get back. So let's say for example, I was to ask it, what's the weather like? Now this has actually given me back the weather for the United States and I am not from the United States, I'm from London. So you can see it's got a little bit confused there because I haven't given it enough context. 
So you want to be a bit more specific. So let's now ask it, what's the weather like in London today? And there we go, that's given us much more precise information. So that's all the tips and tricks for today. If you found any of these tips useful, hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button to find out more information about ChatGPT and other things that you can do with it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.